but what's uh, quite unique about this uh, platform is you could have a step down or step up uh, in the same package so works quite well with a battery let's say if a battery is uh, winding down its voltage mm. you'd uh, sustain that, that, that voltage uh, regulation oh, on, on the output. Cool. Hey, it's Eamon at EDS. I'm at the TDK Lambda stand with uh, Stephen. And um, you've got some cool new DC-DC converters that are quite unlike some of the other stuff on the market, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So if I just give you a brief uh, brief overview here today, yeah. uh, we've got uh, these on the top left. Some of these are our existing uh, isolated DC-DC uh, mm -hmm. converters. So of course they have the barrier between primary and secondary already. Um, some of these here are the new CCGs, so they're um, smaller, let's say, um, one, two, three, five watt uh, converters. Okay. Uh, they're, they're quite new, but in particular, I'd like to discuss on the bottom level, if you can see that okay. Yeah, excellent. Um, so here we have our uh, i7A, which is a non-isolated uh, point-of-load converter. Okay. Um, so typically, we will take uh, around about 18 to 32, or we'll take around 9 to 18 volt input. Okay. And then we have different options in terms of uh, output. But of course, when you already have a, um, let's say, AC DC converter on the um, prime side already, um, you can use these for a distribution architecture to step down um, certain voltages. Okay. Um, on the right hand side here, we have our buck boost converter. So this is a more of a wider range input. So let's say typically 9 to 53. Okay. Um, 300 watts. But what's uh, quite unique about this uh, platform? is you could have a step down or step up uh, in the same package. So works quite well with a battery. Let's say if a battery is uh, winding down its voltage, mm -hmm. you'd uh, sustain that, that, that voltage uh, regulation oh, on, on the output. Cool. Uh, in terms of the applications uh, where you'll have, you'll have typically the test and measurement um, sector, okay. uh, broadcast communications uh, as well. Um, we're now seeing a lot more automotive customers uh, integrating these into certain designs. Oh, what, um, what kind of part of the, the car would, are they using that for? Um, so I wouldn't say it's actually uh, on board uh, of a car. Um, yeah, typical applications for the automotive sector. Um, I'm more, sorry, not automotive, more agricultural. So oh, agricultural, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. More, more the yeah. agricultural sector would, would use this uh, particular platform. So uh, on the bottom left here is also okay. the uh, what we call the RJA series. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have one of these converters uh, will be placed in the ruggedized housing. Okay. Uh, so typical, you could have higher ambient temperatures, maybe up nice. to 110 degrees C. Um, and some of these are also have the Millcots uh, standard as well. So, cool. Yeah. So in terms of, um, are they, I, see, I see they're new, are they available at the moment? Yes, or, good question. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Yeah, no problem. Um, so yeah, um, across our uh, high service level uh, providers, Farnell, uh, Digikey, uh, also uh, Mauser as well. Nice. Uh, so we do have um, uh, yeah, quite high, high stock availability at the moment. Cool. Um, so yeah, we'd work with uh, the customer or distribution to uh, let's say provide a low volume in the market and then we can of course help out where the, the high volumes are as well. Nice. So in, in terms of um, if an engineer was looking to test this kind of technology, um, is it pretty much something that's ready to go or do you have um, uh, evaluation boards where you can really fully test sure. and characterize? Exactly. So with the, with the nature of the, uh, of the product, so uh, within the design you would typically have some external components. Oh yes. Uh, so you'd have some let's say potential potentiometers mm. uh, that you need to twist and maybe some, um, some other synchronization pins as well. Mm. So exactly that, we do have an evaluation board. Oh, excellent, cool. So we can provide that on an evaluation board with screw terminals. So of course, you don't have the additional effort uh, yeah. to let's say play about with the design in. So typically they'll use the evaluation board. Uh, once they're happy with the design, they'll then embed that into their own board. Yeah. Of course, away they go, so. Oh, yeah. excellent. Um, cool, well, thank you very much for telling us about the, um, so that was the, the i7C series. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Um, I always like to end these interviews on kind of how you're finding the show because um, I mean EDS is a pretty big one. Sure. Um, so yeah, how have you found EDS this year? Uh, yeah, we found it pretty good. Um, so we're currently, let's say, 2.30 uh, on day two. Yeah. Um, so we've already agreed to sign up for next year, uh, which is good news. So yeah, day one was pretty good. Good. And um, yeah, day two has been pretty all right as well. So yeah. Good. Well, thank you very much for your time, Stephen. Yeah, no problem. And right. yeah, check out TDK Lambda. So that was TDK Lambda at EDS. Uh, very, very interesting DC-DC conversion solutions, the i7A and i7C series. Uh, pretty much universal for DC-DC conversion, whether you, well, from any reasonable power supply, whether you want to uh, step down or step up and or down, if you say, as Stephen said. Um, 
are running off batteries. Follow the link in the description below to learn about both of these devices and apply to evaluate them. Hey, where my engineers at?